They say, why don't you go full speed in all your drills? DreAllDay.com. What's good, everybody? Dre Ball and DreAllDay.com. Before we get into this video, let me first point out that I got my Wear Testers t shirt on. Shout out to my dude, Nightwing2303, gave this to me when we was in New York a few weeks back. But the thing I want to address in this video is something that people say to me sometimes. They say, Dre, I watched you, I watched you work out, or I watched all your videos. Some people say, say, why don't you go full speed in all your drills? Let me explain to y'all that there's a difference between game speed and full speed. And also to address the people who say you're not going full speed as if that's something negative, as if something is missing there when they, they analyze that I'm not going full speed. First of all, y'all watch basketball, right? You play basketball. When you play basketball and somebody shoots a jump shot and they make it, somebody on your team shoots a shot, shoots a jumper and they make it, right? What do you do? What happens? The defense takes the ball out of bounds, they inbound it, and they start coming up the court. A lot of times when that happens, everybody is jogging from one end of the court to the other end of the court. It's not like 10 people, the ball goes in and everybody just starts sprinting. Yeah, sometimes teams try to go full, they try to go with the fast break transition game off of mate and push it, like the seven seconds or less Phoenix Suns. But for the most part, when the jump shot goes in, what happens? Other team inbounds the ball, they walk the ball up the court, everybody jogs back on defense, you get back on defense early, then you what? You just stand in there for a minute, you waiting for the action to happen. The way to, and I say that not to say that that's what happens every single time, but understand this. Game of basketball is not a full-out sprint up and down the court all game. That's not how the game works, and you already know that. More than half of the time in a game of basketball, when you're going from one end of the court <clears throat> to the other end of the court, you're not running at your top speed. You're not sprinting. <clears throat> you're going at a jogging pace. You might be going at a moderate pace. And then at some point, you might go at that breakneck speed, say, you run no offense, the teammate turns it over, you got to sprint back to get on deep. Or your team creates a turnover and you're sprinting to get the transition opportunity, a two on one or a three on one, or you got to break away for a layup or a dunk. Those are the times when you can sprint. A lot of movements in basketball, especially in a half court game, are not sprinting. Half court game, you're going laterally, you're moving side to side. You might move laterally three steps, then you might have to move forward two steps, then you gotta move backward, then you gotta push against somebody, then you gotta move vertically. So basketball is not all about breakneck speed going full court, forward and backward. We're not sprinters. You're an athlete in basketball, you have to move in all planes, left, right, forward, backward, vertically, and you have to push and pull against other bodies and you don't have no idea what they're gonna do. So the difference between game speed and full speed. Full speed means just going as fast as you possibly can the entire time. I watch, I've seen thousands of basketball drills and workouts of these other cats on YouTube or any of you out there who put out videos. I've yet to see anybody put out a full workout where they're going at completely full speed for the entire time. You know why? Because it's not physically possible to sprint for let's say 45 to 60 or 75 minutes consecutively without stopping. There's no human being that's capable of doing that. Y'all watch racing, like the Olympics, when they race the 800 meters, are they going a full out sprint the entire time? No. When you watch the 100 meter dash, they're sprinting as fast as they possibly can. How long does that race last? 10 seconds. So let's say they do the 200. How long is that? About 20, 23 seconds? It's not about going as fast as you possibly can the whole time. Game of basketball, we talk a lot, a bit about, a lot about changing speeds. When you change speeds, sometimes you want to go slower, sometimes you want to speed up. Y'all all watch the NBA. What do the analysts always say about the NBA between the regular season and the playoffs? They say the game slows down. It's not as much breakneck. It's not as much fast break in transition games. A lot of half court play. We had to be able to execute, set the proper screens, get the proper angles, make the right passes, take the right shots. That has nothing to do with, none of that has to do with sprinting and going as fast as you possibly can. Again, y'all watch basketball. Look at your favorite players. Are they sprinting the entire game? You just watch that one player, the whole game. Do you see them sprinting the entire time? No, they're not. Sometimes they're jogging. Sometimes they move slowly. Sometimes they're just sliding laterally at a fast speed. Sometimes they slide laterally slowly. Sometimes they're standing in place. They're ready to move if something happens because you got to be able to react quickly. But they, they could go 10 seconds in a row where they're just standing in one spot waiting for the action. Maybe it's on the other side of the court near a help defensive position. You don't, you know these things. You might not constantly think about them, but you can see this if you pay attention to the game. So in conclusion, practicing in basketball is not about going as fast as you possibly can the whole time. Anytime a player says that, 
oh, you need to go full speed 100% of the time when you're working out or this person's not going full speed as if something's wrong with that. Usually you're listening to a player who hasn't played in a lot of basketball, hasn't accomplished much, because any player who's played a lot understands that it's not about going full speed, it's about going game speed. Game speed is different for each individual. A center like Shaquille O'Neal has a certain game speed, and you look at a point guard like, say, Derrick Rose, he has a certain game speed. There are certain movements and positions on the floor that Derrick Rose is going to be in that Shaq is not going to be in, and vice versa. So game speed is not one thing that applies to everybody. You have to figure out what your game is. When you figure out what your game is and what situations you're going to be in, then you can determine what your game speed is. So hopefully that clears up a lot of things for a lot of you players who are confused about game speed, full speed, how fast you're supposed to go, or how fast somebody else is supposed to go, which is a whole other conversation. Why y'all even concerned with how somebody else is working out baffles me, but that's a whole other conversation. So hopefully that clears it up with y'all the difference between game speed, full speed, and why it's not all about going 100 miles per hour. Understand what your game is and adjust your workouts, your training, your play to that. Work on your game, DreAllDay.com. Thanks for checking out this vid. Know that every Thursday is Off The Court Thursdays on this channel. So hit that thumbs up button and like this video. Make sure you are subscribed to catch every new video I'm putting out here. Share this video on your social networks, your Twitter and on your Facebook with all your friends. Comment if you got anything to say, I will reply to that. And check back next Thursday for the next Off Court video. Work on your game.